Hi friends, Halloween is coming, and I'm gonna help you get ready by creating a not so spooky paper floral centerpiece. What we're going to do is a new twist on a traditional paper flower. I've selected a couple of shades of orange tissue paper, and I've cut them down so they're approximately eight by 12 inch sheets. What we're gonna do is take these sheets of orange tissue paper, and we're gonna dip each end in a bleach solution. This is gonna fade the tissue paper ever so slightly to create a flower that's a little bit creepy, but still really pretty. To create our faded flowers, take a glass bowl, fold up a piece of paper towel, place it in the bottom, and then fill the bowl with bleach, just enough to cover the paper towel. Next, take your sheets of tissue paper in bundles of about five or six, and dip each short end into the bleach solution, just so it starts to soak up into the paper. Once you've done this, hang them up to dry. It'll take about 20 to 30 minutes. Once your tissue paper is dry, take five pieces, stack them together, fold it accordion style lengthwise, Take a pair of scissors and clip the bleached ends into a little bit of a point to create a petal shape. Fold that piece in half to create a center mark. Then you're gonna take some twine, wrap it around that center mark and tie it tight so it gathers up into a bunch. Snip off the ends of the twine and then fan out each side of the flower. Gently start to pull up each layer of tissue paper. This is gonna fluff it up and start to make it look like a flower. Once you've created your flowers, we're now gonna make stems using wooden dowels. The wooden dowels are great because it makes it very simple to create a nice arrangement. Heat up your glue gun, place a little bit of glue on the end of the dowel, and then stick it right in the center of the flower and then give it just a second to cool off. To cover up the bottom of the flower and make it a little prettier, we're gonna add some foliage. The way you're going to do this is take some green tissue paper, cut it down into a seven or eight inch square, fold it in half, then fold that in half again, and then fold it diagonally, almost as if you were going to make a paper snowflake. Cut three petal shapes out of the end, keeping the point intact. Snip the tiniest little piece of the point off to create a hole for the dowel. Take two pieces of the foliage, slip them up the dowel to the base of the flower, and then use some white glue just to secure them to the bottom of the bloom. Give it just a few minutes to dry. Make as many of these flowers as you'd like to create a beautiful centerpiece bouquet. One trick for arranging these in a vase is to fill the vase with either black beans or lentils, that way, when you stick the dowel stems down into them, it'll support them in whatever arrangement you create. For Halloween, I would suggest selecting a vase that maybe looks a little bit spooky, is a darker color, especially with the wooden dowels. It's nice to have a solid color vase, so all you see is that beautiful bouquet peeking up over the top. So there you have it, a festive paper flower bouquet. Happy Halloween, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.